Hi friends, now we are going to show you how you can create default values for some Fiori apps, okay? So I'll show you the stuff for supplier line items, okay? I'm not going to the Fiori apps from here because it takes taking a lot of time because we have like 600 apps installed. So I'll show you how you can default it from just going through an app. It's pretty simple. So you click on this app, suppose. This is the app we are going to click, okay, and uh, it will show up. So it's showing up here, okay. And here, if you see, lots of times you might be interested that oh, I want to see only uh, uh, stuffs related with some particular uh, parameter ID and all those things. How you can set those up? So we, I will show you how you can do those things here. So. It will show up. So here you can see the company code is 1010. Okay. And here you have item types and all these things. So I want probably want to change it. So I want to give, suppose I want to see, I don't know, but I will see some material number, some, uh, just go click code. And suppose this is, this is one I'll select code. And what is the vendor number? This is the so I'll copy this control C. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll click cancel. Okay. And I'll hit this button. Okay. Here, the moment I hit this button and I go to settings, I click on settings. And here you can see default values. Here in the default values, here I can populate some things. So here, if you see, I have already populated company code here. So if I want some other company code, I can put, I don't, we have supplier here. Let's see, financial supply chain, mm, financial accounting. So there's default values only for certain things so here suppose i want suppose thousand company code and suppose the what was so i click on this and suppose i want to select some other fields suppose the fiscal year or the fiscal year is suppose 2020 by default we want to select and i'll click save so now what what will happen is if I go back, so I'm going back and now I'll again go here and I will select this just now so it will show up. And again, you can see the Fiori app is not that fast. It's, it depends, you know. Uh, lots of people say, oh, it's faster than... See, now I just changed the company code. It, it changed this. So these are the things you can do. So some of those fields, standard SAP Fiori apps have those val values you can pre-populate just by going here. Again, it's simple. You click here. You go to settings. And the moment you hit settings, you go to default values. And here you can do all your magic things, okay? This is very, 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 very useful. Now, lots of times you might have, you have this thing, you can click on share, share, and you can save it as a tile, or you can send it as an email to another person. So you can share your settings like this. So this is also very useful, okay? So this covers everything about how we can find how you can set your default values in a Fiori app.